Hi, Mal Pals and New Pals. Today is the day that I have been dreaming of since Patrick Ta started launching products. I have in front of me the new Patrick Ta Beauty Major Skin Foundation. So many things to cover. Being on this call for this foundation launch was just like so incredible. Um, this foundation is, there's a lot more to it than just what you're about to see. So we're gonna get into some very, very detailed details. Currently I'm dealing with major reaction, allergic reaction to the new Lancome Care and Glow Foundation. I did a review on that the other day. I will link it. I mean, it looks like I got like poison ivy, you know? The thing is with this foundation, it is not full coverage, but that's fine. We can definitely see uh, the coverage on it with this skin and see how it wears all day. I will be doing check-ins at the uh, midday point as well as natural daylight shots. I do have a workout, so we're gonna check in at the very end of the night. Let's get into the exciting details. First, I wanna say I haven't received a PR package this beautiful in a very long time. I really appreciate this it's tonal it's like all about skin colors and we have three of the shades here as well as the brush that's being launched the brush does not come with the foundation it is a separate product you have the application side which is really nice and soft and then you have the powder side to set underneath your eyes it is a classic patrick ta compact and for size reference, here is Cream Contour and Powder Duo. It's a little bit larger than that. And then here is the Double Take Cream and Powder Blush Duos. What I love about Patrick Ta's packaging is, girl, easy to organize, easy to pack and take with you, to use on yourself, on clients. This is what you get when like a real makeup artist launches products. Things that make sense even lips like you're good to go and the packaging is sturdy protects the product so i was really excited to see that his first coverage product was a classic patrick ta compact because this makes it so easy to travel with big reveal opens just like his other compacts this is the shade fair three this foundation comes in 24 shades something that i learned on the call this foundation is a it's like a very flexible shade wise so three people with three different skin tones can like technically get away with wearing the same foundations patrick was talking about being on vacation and doing his friend's makeup he didn't have everyone's shade but somehow the foundation looked like it was their shade so it's kind of like sisterhood of traveling foundations. I never liked that movie. The Major Skin Cream Foundation and Finishing Powder Duo is $52. The foundation cream size is 0.42 ounces. The powder size is 0.32 ounces. The wonderful thing about this foundation is it is for touch-ups as well, like light to medium coverage. You're supposed to be able to build it up to the coverage that you like. Honestly, when you go full coverage, when you are having a skin problem, sometimes it enhances the skin problem. So I don't mind some of the issues peeking through. The powder part is lighter than the foundation part because this is supposed to set and brighten. This is really only meant for underneath the eyes or the T-zone, technically at the center of the face because that's where we want it lighter and highlighted. So that is why the powders are lighter. I, today, I am not not applying a primer before I apply the foundation. I talk about this all the time in my foundation reviews that I don't like to apply a primer underneath a foundation that is already a high-end price because then technically a $50 foundation becomes a $100 foundation. I really want the product to perform on its own like it claims it will. I have three shades here, the shade Fair 3, and there is a quiz to take. This is light one, and then we have light three. So this is what they look like together. Looking at these three shades, I believe I'm gonna be between fair three and light one. 
So fair has a little bit more pinky undertones and we have light one. I'm gonna go for light one. And um, again, I'm not too scared to like use my wrong shade because Patrick did say that these shades are very flexible on all different skin tones. Just like his other compact products, you have the little plastic protector. Now this brush has vegan bristles, but again, it's very soft. So this is supposed to buff and blend the foundation really easily at and something really cool about this formula created this formula with like fast uh, dispersing pigments so it's supposed to melt into the skin very fast and it helps prevent oxid oxidization i never <laughs> it's such a hard word to say oh wow okay let's zoom. Ooh, i got excited and didn't zoom in right away so this is supposed to give you like a healthy skin finish right away i feel like it's really covering uh the redness of this rash. There's no fragrance, thank God. Thank you, Patrick, for doing something that actually makes sense. So this foundation has chamomile water in it, as well as really uh, moisturizing emollients. And I will say this, it feels very moisturizing as I'm applying it. Now, you guys know that I do not like applying foundation with a brush, but this is nice. Um, and I'm not just saying that because I adore Patrick Ta. I literally in the on the call asked if I could use a uh, You know like a damp beauty blender and he said that you could but he enjoys using a brush and then going in to blend with a damp sponge Oh, this is kind of like dangerous. This feels like I could keep buffing this into my skin I was nervous because today obviously my skin is really gonna put this to the test It's so weird like, you know, everybody claims when they release a foundation that it's like weightless and I was like, okay, like I expect the best from Patrick Shaw, but um, everybody makes that claim. Now, this feels like I'm not putting anything on my skin. When do I stop? This feels so nice. It feels like I'm almost putting a moisturizer on. And cream foundations um, are great for dry skin, but this is also good for oilier skin types. Again, you have the powder to set any other oily or shiny areas. Look, okay, ignore the texture of the situation. But my problem areas are larger pores, dryness. It's not picking up any of that, even on this rash. That's nuts, and it was so red. So light to medium coverage, I mean, I feel like I'm getting great coverage right off the bat. I'm not feeling like right now I need to build it up or anything. This looks so nice. And here's the thing. So I, if you watch my foundation reviews, you know that I have like quite the uh, disdain for applying foundation with a brush because it kicks up dryness. It irritates my skin. This is truly so soft that I am not having those issues at all. And again, like I said, um, I just kind of want to keep going, but I'm not going to. And that takes a lot for me to say because I do not like using brushes. Okay, we are now ready to powder. I just have my contour blush and concealer on. I'm gonna go into the powder side here and light one. And this tapered brush, it's gonna be perfect for the under eyes. So this powder has nylons that are supposed to fill and like blur. They explain it like hollow spheres in the powder help make it feel really super lightweight. Okay, again, this is for brightening. So that's why it is lighter than the foundation. Oh, nice. It's definitely, okay. <laughs> It's super blurring. So this side is with the powder and this side is not. Look at my under eye. That's pretty impressive. I think I could go with a lighter shade of this powder. Probably the fair uh, three shade that I have. My skin is really bad. It's freaking me out every time I look in the mirror. I'm like, oh my God. And I'm just lightly pressing and I'm not gonna bake today. I'm only setting my under eyes. Um, I use my Hourglass Vanish Concealer. I really can't wait for Patrick to come out with concealer because I think once that happens, holy crap. We might all just have flawless faces that we just can't stand. Oh, the powder is really nice. I would say that this might be 
a little dark on my under eyes, but I am used to wearing like super brightening shades under my eyes. So it might just be a really good match, but this is really blurring. I feel like I do need, I almost need like a precision brush for underneath my eyes right here. So if you have like, kind of like little fat pads like I do, you might need something that's a little smaller for under that area. You know what, heck, I'm gonna take a MAC 221, a clean one, and just dust this right under there and that should take care of it. Cause my concealer always wants to kind of gather together right there. So just by taking this, under there with a smaller brush, that would fix that problem. Exciting, I'm gonna shut up, apply the rest of my makeup, and we'll be right back. It's been about 30 minutes. I feel like this foundation looks so good on my skin. Some foundations can end up looking completely different. I haven't noticed any oxidization. I think what they did with the pigments being like fast dispersing and melting into the skin quickly, the entire formulation was like, this needs to be quick and not oxidize. I don't have time to be ugly. <laughs> Seeing how bad my skin is right now. I mean, it literally just looks like wax. I honestly was not expecting this foundation to do well for me today. Um, I noticed just a little bit of dryness right here uh, in the center of my forehead, but to be fair, I did get Dysport this morning and I had like a bunch of alcohol wipes on my forehead. So um, that spot on my forehead was pretty dried out in the first place. Other than that, my skin looks better than it did and I'm shocked. I was really uh, not expecting this foundation to do well on my skin today. Uh, it doesn't sink in my pores. Overall, it's really just moving with my skin. Now, I did not apply any highlighter whatsoever just because I didn't want to enhance the texture that I have going on right now because it's really, really bad. But I feel like this foundation, it's supposed to give you like a luminous dewy finish and I definitely see that. So if you're someone who doesn't like to use highlighter and you hate when your foundation takes the life out of your face, I think you're gonna love this one. Let's go and get natural light shots now that we have finished our face. I can't believe I didn't put highlighter on it, to be honest. Like, I'm having like a really major glowy situation. I can't wait to try this foundation when my skin's not falling off my face. We are in natural lighting, no studio lighting, uh, in front of the window. Do you guys see the texture of my skin? That freaking Lancome foundation, I'm so angry. Uh, because this, this the Patrick Ta foundation came in the mail today. And I was like, I have to film it today. I mean, my skin looks like crap, but this foundation over my crap skin looks good. So if you, if your skin is in a better state than mine, and you have dry skin and maybe like some texture issues, let's just pretend this is my normal texture issues, to be honest. Uh, this foundation looks great. Fine lines and things, I'm 33, and this powder looks really good over that concealer. Let's see how this lasts through my workout and the rest of the workday, and at the end of the night, I will see you guys. It's, I will see you guys at the end of the night. I'm literally dying. I push myself so hard, and you can see I'm still sweating, but, uh, excuse me. I just did like an hour uh, full push and then a 15 minute hit, like the hardest hit I've ever done in my life. And this is what we're looking at. Now we'll see when it dries down, but like this foundation is hanging in there for something that's not like perf performance coverage base. This is killing it. This is gonna be really good for those of you who go from work to the gym to putting your makeup back on not like over the sweat this foundation is so easy it's so easy breezy and i honestly am like i'm really trying hard to look for um, a really big negative because i don't want to seem biased because i do enjoy patrick ta products already and like him as a person but even under my eyes where that powder is still looks really decent i mean i'm dripping sweat and again this isn't even breaking up around the rash area that that lancome gave me oh my god i'm sweating so much here my hair's like soaking wet the foundation's still on my forehead i'm highly impressed at this point i'm gonna let my face 
uh, rest and actually start editing this video so I can get it up tomorrow for the, the launch of it. I think it's five, I've had this on for like six, six hours. And I'm just in natural window lighting. Like I'm literally packing up my light, lights for a work trip right now. There's the rash, thanks Lancome. Hi, hello, it's the end of the night and this foundation, let's see, what time is it? It is currently 9.23. I've had this foundation on now for, yeah, almost 10 hours. <laughs> Patrick Ta really, really killed it in my opinion. I don't know if I could have put this foundation to any more of a test than like today. So, you know, had a full work day, had a really intense workout. Right now I am currently packing for the world. packing for a work trip I'm exhausted so we've got a big mess in the studio right now anyway needless to say it's been a very long day I'm ready to take makeup off just because my skin is like really messed up but I mean like I said before for a product a foundation that's not really meant for like long intense wear and oh my god my texture the texture of my skin is so bad that like this looks like I have a hair here but it's really the texture of my skin and I'm going on a work trip anyway the foundation feels so lightweight I've obviously changed a couple times I it hasn't transferred on anything of course I've been careful though I'm always careful when I'm wearing makeup but here it is up close I feel like there's really not much wear and tear here the dryness on my forehead and in between my eyebrows looks fine to me this foundation did not sink into my pores or enhance any of this rash um, I just ate dinner if this can make my skin currently in the state that it's in look decent I don't know what else I could ask for I'm feeling like super self-conscious it just it is so bad I love the formulation of this I can't believe how much I enjoy using the brush I love the finish it's wonderful so if you guys can get your hands on it I definitely recommend this I'm gonna be bringing all of the shades with me on this trip and I just want to play with different shades do on like the flexibility of the shades like Patrick talked about but he really didn't just hype this up he delivered again if it could make me feel a little bit more confident about my skin especially today like if you just have normal skin right now imagine how amazing this would make you look major skin cream foundation and finishing powder duo did me right today let me know what you guys think in the comments and let me know if you're gonna try this and if you love any other types of foundations that are also cream formulas let us know in the comments below and um, thank you so much for watching I will keep you guys updated on how much I love this foundation I'm sure you will see it in upcoming vlogs and videos and things so can't wait for Patrick to come out with concealer okay I will see you guys in the next one wish me luck with the skin issue goodbye All right.